In the last video, I gave you an exercise to customize the customer queue flow depending on the option you selected on the IVR. That is, if you press option 1, it should say, please wait while we connect to a sales agent. If you press option 2, it should say, customer service agent. And if you press option 3, it should say, technical support agent. Now, in order to accomplish this, the first thing that comes to your mind is to create individual customer queue flows for each of the three queues. That is, currently we have this busy ping customer queue flow. Instead of that, three customer queue flows, one for sales, one for customer service, and one for technical support, and then place this set customer queue flow block after each of these three options and select the corresponding queues inside the blocks. So that way, when you press one of these options, it'll set the corresponding customer queue flow before it reaches this transfer to queue block. Well, that is one way to do it, but it is quite cumbersome with two additional customer queue flows and all these additional blocks inside here. A much better way is to use a feature called contact attributes in Amazon Connect. A contact attribute is a key value pair that contains data about a contact, in other words, a phone call or a chat. For example, the phone number from which a customer is calling or the channel on which a customer is contacting that is chat or voice or the name of the queue that is sales, customer service or technical support. We can access all these contact attributes inside the contact flows and use them in different ways. There are seven types of contact attributes, system, agent, queue metrics, user defined, external, lex slots, and lex attributes. System attributes are the predefined attributes in Amazon Connect, such as the queue name, the customer's phone number, channel, etc. Agent attributes are those related to the agent, for example, the agent's first name, last name, and username. Queue metrics attributes will give you information about a particular queue, such as number of customers waiting in the queue and agents available for that queue. User-defined attributes are created during a call flow, just like you would create a variable in a programming language. You can reference these user-defined attributes later in the call flow. External attributes are created outside of Amazon Connect. For example, you can invoke an AWS Lambda function in a contact flow, and the values returned from the Lambda function will be an external attribute. We'll discuss more about this in the later videos. Lex slots and Lex attributes are those from Amazon Lex, which is Amazon Chatbot Builder. So for our current scenario, we will use the system attribute named queue name to customize the prompt. So let's open the busy ping customer queue flow in a new tab. Open the loop prompts block. And here, instead of please wait while we connect to an agent, we want the message to be customized, which is please wait while we connect to a technical support agent or sales agent or customer service agent. We can reference a system attribute by typing dollar dot and followed by the attribute name. In this case, it is Q dot name. And I'll change this from and to er uh, just to be grammatically right. Then I'll click save and publish. If you want to see the list of all attributes, you can go to this link. I'll also put this link in the description of this video. All right, now let's make a call and test if it's working. As usual, I'll put the phone on speaker. Thank you for calling Busy Ping Broadband Services. Please press one for sales, two for customer service, and three for technical support. Thank you for your patience. Please wait while we connect to a technical support queue agent. Okay, so that worked as expected. But it didn't sound quite nice because it said technical support queue agent instead of technical support agent. And that is because we have named the queue as technical support queue. So if I go to the list of queues, you can see all the queue names end with the word queue. So one way to fix that is by renaming the queues to what we need. In this case, it is totally fine, but what if you can't change the name for some other reason? For example, it is a common practice to prefix the queue names with a number for the purpose of organizing them, like 01 underscore sales, 02 underscore customer service, etc. So instead of playing around with the queue names, a better approach is to introduce a user defined attribute. Now let me go back to the busy ping customer queue flow. And here, if you go to the branch category, you can see a block called check contact attributes. This will allow you to branch your contact flow depending on the value of a specific contact attribute. So I'll drag and drop it here. Open the properties. And here we need to check the queue name. So I'll select the attribute type as system and select the attribute as queue name. Next, we need to specify conditions. 
I'll click add another condition, select equals, and I need to write the queue name exactly as you see in the queues page. So I'll copy paste the queue name from the queues page here. Similarly, I'll create two more conditions for the other two queues. Then I'll click save. And now you can see four options here. Next, we will create a user defined attribute for each of these three options. So I'll drag and drop the set contact attributes. Open the properties. And here I can create a new attribute, which is what we call as user defined attribute. I can give it any name, in other words, a key and any value. So I'll give the key as selected queue. And for the value, type exactly what you want the prompt to say. So I'll type sales, click save. Similarly, I'll configure two more blocks, one for customer service and one for technical support. Now I'll connect all these blocks. Next, I'll add an end flow or resume block and connect all these open endpoints, that is the no match and errors to it. This is not the ideal way to handle errors, but for now, let's not worry about it as our objective is to understand how the user defined attributes work. Finally, I'll go to the loop prompts block. And here we need to reference our new user defined attribute called a selected queue that we created in the previous step. You can do that by typing dollar dot attributes dot followed by the attribute name which is selected queue and click save and publish. Now this time let's call and select option two for customer service so we can be sure it is working. Thank you for calling Busy Ping Broadband Services. Please press one for sales, two for customer service and three for technical support. Thank you for your patience. Please wait while we connect to a customer service agent. All right, so that worked exactly as we configured. I hope now you have a clear understanding of contact attributes. In the next video, we'll discuss about speech synthesis markup language, in other words, SSML.